In this repair video, you're going to be working on an Asus ROG Z Fire SM model number GM501GS-XS74. Customer mailed over the motherboard only and not the whole laptop. We fixed an Asus ROG yesterday where the customer mailed over the whole laptop, but this customer mailed the motherboard only. Let's read what the customer wrote. When power plug is inserted, a short can be heard. Voltage at plug is 19 volts before plugging in but then drops to almost zero after being inserted, sending in motherboard only. Now the reason why the charger is going down to zero is because it's shutting itself off for protection. It's detecting a short circuit on the board and it shuts itself off so it does not create fire for protection. I mentioned this in yesterday's video when we were working on the Asus ROG motherboard. I said, what if we plug the charger and we have a short circuit on the board. What's going to happen? The charger is going to shut itself off for protection. So let's go ahead and work on the motherboard and see what's going on. The first thing I'm going to do is inspect the power circuit. We have two MOSFETs here. The ASUS motherboard that we worked on yesterday, we had one MOSFET on front of the board and we had one on back of the board. And one of the MOSFETs was shortened to ground and then it turned out to be a shorted capacitor all the way on bottom of the board on the back side. So let's go ahead and inspect the MOSFETs on this board. I see that we have two on the front here. This board has a different layout. It's a different board. It's a different model, but it's still an ASUS ROG. If we look at the power MOSFETs here, let's go ahead and measure for a short. We're in diet mode. And we have a short. So I'm going to say this like in yesterday's video. Consider this motherboard fixed. What we're going to do is we're going to inject voltage. Let's inject 1.2 volts on the shorted area of the MOSFET. Connect ground to one of the screw holes like this. We're going to inject 1.2 volts and let's see what happens we're going to inject voltage right over here where we measured for a short and let's see what happens when we touch the probe on this MOSFET the amp meter is drawing 4.87 amps a lot of current we're going to grab our thermal camera and we're going to monitor the board under the thermal cam and see what gets hot because when we inject voltage on a component in question, whatever is shorting on the board is going to get hot. And the thermal camera is going to be able to pinpoint where that shorted component is. So I have the thermal camera pointing on the board. The board extends all the way from here, all the way on top. I mean, it's a big board. It's a big board. Let's go ahead and inject voltage. One, two three and I have voltage injected and look at this we see a heat spot right here right there watch you see right now I'm injecting voltage at the MOSFET all the way on right side of the board but we have something that got hot almost in the middle of the board let's inject voltage again so we can pinpoint where that short is coming from right there so i'm going to put my finger over it and we're going to go under the microscope oh look at what we have here a blown capacitor whoa usually a capacitor shorts to ground and it still looks good but this one is blown meter in diet mode and we're going to measure both ends of the cap. And we have a short. You see? Like I mentioned in yesterday's video, that this voltage injection tool is currently out of stock on our e-commerce website. And we called the factory today, and they said that because of a shortage on one specific chip, they're not able to manufacture this device anymore. They do have 26 pieces that they're going to ship over to us. 
and they promise that they're going to ship 80 more pieces after one month, assuming that they can get their hands on the specific chip. So we do have 26 pieces coming in after maybe 7 to 10 days and 80 more pieces after one month. Let's go ahead and remove that cap and see what happens. And the capacitor is out. And let's go ahead and measure. Do we still have a short? The short is gone. Short is gone. We no longer have a short. Awesome. Based on my experience working on those boards, that's most likely a 10 microfarads capacitor, size 805. And we have one right over here. What will happen if that capacitor was initially 5 microfarads and I put a 10? Nothing. What's going to happen is the laptop is going to work. The laptop will work even with this capacitor off. But so that we can save the world from complaints, let's go ahead and replace it. We had someone in the comments that wrote that I should not say to save the world from complaints. As I was saying, to save the world from complaints, let's go ahead and replace that capacitor. The person did not have anything to complain about, so he complained about me saying to save the world from complaints. All right. And let's go under the microscope. Focus. Turn around. If you're happy and you know, turn around. And the job is done. Better than factory. That capacitor is most definitely better than factory. So let's see what happens when we inject voltage again. Are we going to get a short? Of course not. Just to confirm that we no longer have a short. Initially, the shorted component was over here, and that's why you see some heat, because we applied hot air. Let me apply a little bit of alcohol so we can cool the board down. Apply voltage at the MOSFET. We are currently at 1.2 volts and nothing. Awesome. And our voltage injection tool is not showing any amps being drawn when we apply voltage at the MOSFET because we do not have a short at the MOSFET anymore. That's why. Look at this. Our MOSFET is right over here, the one that was short into ground. Right here. Maybe we can do this so you can see everything. Fume extractor, not the light. Fume extractor off. And let's apply voltage right over here. I'm applying 1.10 volts. And if you look here, amps being drawn, zero. It's no longer four amps, but rather zero amps. Job is done. Time to go home. 7 p.m. right now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I will do something else in the next video.